So here's how you cleat it. You come on the back of the horn, okay, not the front, back of the horn, a complete turn, and if I maintain pulling pressure here, I can hold a lot of load on that, and I'll show you that in a minute using the engines. So we've done a round turn, we then go one, two, three, and if you want, round turn to finish. Now, for my American clients, I know that you get taught a different way, and I'm going to show you that way in a minute and show you one of the disadvantages. I'm not saying it's wrong. One of the criticisms I hear of this method is that there's too much rope on the cleat, that it takes too long to get it off. Well, there's a, there's a way around that. So when you're preparing to leave, when the captain gives the order reduce turns, this is how you get ready. Because I, I acknowledge it would take a little minute to get all this off if the captain's at the critical moment to try to leave. So, you reduce turns. Remember I showed you with this one complete turn, I can stand here holding the boat all day long as long as I maintain a pull here. And then when he says, let go, we're off. And it's that quick, okay? So let me show you the, the pull that I can hold. Straight how I can hold the load rope under load. I've actually got one of my engines running forward. Admittedly, I'm being held on another rope over there, but look, I can play it out. I have total control of the rope and the boat. If the captain says, ease me out a bit, whatever it is, I can also take up the slack and make it off. If I'm quick, I've got the boat. This boat isn't going anywhere. So that's why I like to do it this way. The American way is a little different. I'm not saying it's wrong, but the disadvantage is, I think this is how you do it. In 30 years, I've never done it this way. But you come over and you do your locking turn. The disadvantage here is, if this rope is under a lot of load, this is coming under some load now, at the point where he says let go, you can find that this is jammed up. And you're now here trying to, uh, 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 can't get it undone. And now you mess up the captain's maneuver, because guess what? If the other crew member maybe on the bow has let go, the boat is now drifting sideways under the wind, and you're stuck here still trying to undo this. So I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm just saying probably do it the Royal Navy way. We've been doing it a long time.